guys, Xbox games here. Oh man, look at this. I, I can't even do this thing justice. I mean, just, just look at this thing. It is huge, the Ninjago City. I finally finished it. It's been one of my projects I've been working on for, oh my gosh, just look at, just look at that. I can't even fit it in the screen. Um, this is a project that I've been working on for probably like two weeks or so in, in trying to you know fit in two to three hours of, of putting this thing together between all the other videos that we do. And man, I finally got it done. You know, the gratification of finishing this thing and putting on the final pieces is awesome. It's just like you, you accomplish something huge. This particular set, I, uh, if I remember right, it's right about 5,000 pieces. I think it was like 4,923 pieces. And again, the detail on this is awesome. We kind of warned you guys saying, hey, we have some bigger sets that we're trying to put together, but these things take time, as you guys know. And just to give you guys an idea of how large this thing is, look at this. I'm gonna stick a, look at that. I'm gonna stick an X-Wing on its side. I mean, and it's still, <laughs> it is still larger than the X-Wing. Um, I would say this thing is probably at least, I don't know, 24, 30 inches high. Um, it's something, I mean, it's big. Again, it is. It, it doesn't even fit in my recording little area here. But nonetheless, guys, I, you know, I've been trying to keep it this kind of hidden and not really mention it a lot just because, you know, I really wanted to get this thing done. And, and there is so many pieces of this. There is so much detail on every single piece here. Stuff inside the little doors here. Every single piece has like massive detail inside it. It just, it just takes a long time as you guys know, to put something like this together. And you know, out the door, this thing is, oh my gosh, it's probably about like 400 bucks, maybe a little more, depending on where you get it and the shipping. Cause again, it is heavy, it is big, but man, it is an awesome, awesome piece. So let's get into it and kind of look around this particular set. You know, starting, uh, when I first started this, just the base alone with kind of these blue kind of tile pieces, it takes a long time. There's technically three layers here. You have your base, you have this black layer, and then you have uh, kind of the water layer here. So hopefully you can kind of see that. And we'll, we'll show more of the back here in a moment. But man, the bottom base is, it just takes a while to, to kind of put together. And tier one here is, is awesome. I mean, gosh, the amount of detail that they put into kind of the brick and all the little stickers. I was almost gonna go no stickers, but I thought, no. I, I gotta have stickers on this stuff just just to give it that look and feel, right? But every single piece on here, I mean, again, it's just, I, I, I'm just so excited about this because again, we finally finished it and I'm like, yes, I can finally put it up, you know, and, and play with this thing or just have it up as a, uh, a piece to be like, man, I put in the time. I think it took, um, I don't know. I think it took me probably like 15 hours or something like that. And I mean, I was cruising. I felt like I was cruising putting this thing together. But just look at the, gosh, just look at the detail on this thing. Just, again, just amazing. I wanna go on the first layer here to give you guys an idea of what's happening. You have kind of the bridge here with the underwater, which we'll take a look in the uh, in a moment here in the back. Go around to this side and check this out. You got kind of this, um, uh, I, forgot what they, what, I forgot what this was in the back or what they called this one. And then of course you got another building here. And each of these building guys, uh, they have, ooh, I accidentally shifted that building right there on accident. Um, in each of these buildings, they have a, basically like a complete little set going on inside it. So it's like each little building, like this little crab restaurant right here, inside it, and I could, and you could take the whole tops off of all this and everything. I, I really didn't want to take the whole tops off, but in each of these, you could see, I mean, you have a whole uh, like seating area, you have seats, it's, it's completely decked out inside and you could take uh, these individual kind of pieces off, but I feel like, man, it is so heavy um, that I, I, I just want to keep it all together as one, as a, again, just kind of a piece inside the Lego city. Because uh, again, it's, you know, I, I don't want to drop it and break the thing. So over here to the right, you can check this out. We got, we got the crab building over here to the right for the second tier. You got this cool ATM and you guys will see right here in the front, if I can zoom in right there, they actually have it where this, like those uh, $100 bills, they actually come out. I couldn't get mine to line up. Mine wasn't working right. So I figured, well, okay, it's cool. I'll leave it. No big deal. Um, we do have the comic store over here and inside the comic store is awesome. You have comics, you have all these cool little things. Again, it, it is, it is the detail on this thing is so awesome. Now going up to the third story here, again, they got this kind of nice building over here and you know, the detail here is just awesome. Kind of this like brick ceramic. I don't know what you want to call it. This kind of like, bush over here, this tree, 
it just is awesome. You have this uh, like clothing kind of store right here. If you like kind of look, you have these mannequins inside the uh, the windows. You have a bunch of cool items in there. I mean, just, jeez. Oh, there is so much to talk about on this uh, on this particular set. It is crazy. Just look at that. Look at all the detail on all of these signs, all of the uh, um, <laughs> all of the lanterns. Gosh, you got kind of all these little small pieces. Again, it's it is uh, it is just awesome. Look at this in here. I remember doing that piece. Every single piece on here, I remember putting together every single small one. Sometimes you get lost, right? You don't really think about it, but man. Every single little piece there, oh, I love it. And look at the top. So the third layer actually goes pretty quick because really a lot of these pieces are kind of bigger pieces. Um, so it goes pretty quick. You do have kind of the the, <laughs> the twisty, turny, whatever you want to call this, the little sushi place up here uh, with the stuff. This was pretty easy. This is one of the last pieces that you do, of course, as well at the top. And of course, this is one of the last little things. So I knew when I got here, I was like, oh man, I'm getting close. But, you know, you guys, this particular set is just awesome. The amount of pieces, the gratification you get when you finish it is is second to none. I mean, finishing some bigger sets and things like this, you know, like uh, finishing like the X-Wing, this is satisfying. Don't get me wrong, guys. It is great. But finishing a larger piece, when you start getting into like the 6,000 pieces like this, um, man, it, it, is, it is something else. And... I would say if you want to get this thing, man, it is a great showpiece to kind of put and kind of talk about. But let me flip this thing around so we can see it from the backside because, again, the front side is great, but the backside is where all the stuff is. Let's check that out here real quick. Real quick. All right, so I went ahead and flipped this thing around, guys. Check it out. So from the backside, um, you are going to notice, I think this hooks in um, with the other Ninjago or it goes over here. Um, this is going to hook in very nicely, and I kind of shifted that on accident when I was moving around. Um, it does hook in nicely with the Ninjago docks. I plan to get that, but it's kind of hard to find. Um, and you can see, I have one of my little guys here. This whole section right here, look at this, this blue. Oh man, is, is, it just, it just, again, it's just so awesome. I love it. You gotta got this large elevator. Yeah, see, I moved it, so I shifted. Oh gosh, I gotta move this. You get, there we go. And that's what I'm saying, like, be careful when you move this thing because you could really, anyway, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I gotta put it back right. So when I moved it, it can fall apart pretty easy for each of the tiers, but you can see you got this cool elevator that goes all the way up to the top. Just check that out. You kinda got all the little areas you can come into the back here. You got this little thing right here that turns uh, with inside the, uh, the crab shop. It turns like the little rotisserie thing they have. Here's a little thing right here for the um, $100 dispensary. And again, it's kinda shifted. I got, uh, got a shifted there. But you could see, I mean, this thing is a serious playhouse. It's not only just a, a good looking piece, but it is something you could definitely play with. But again, I, to me, there's so many pieces here that I just, I don't want to lose them and I don't want to drop this thing messing it up. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think of this thing. I know I didn't do this justice. I might do another breakdown on this, um, you know, come here in a little bit. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick, man, you know, I finished it. Thank goodness this thing is a beast. So definitely subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. We got a lot of stuff coming up. We should have another video out hopefully later today with a, with a uh, giveaway that we're doing uh, if we can get around to it. Anyways, thanks again, guys. Have a good one. <laughs>